Hello everyone, I am back with another review. This time it is of the Zoom Handy Recorder. Uh, we've been using this thing for a lot of things from recording live shows to some of the audio I've been having on my videos. It's actually um, Christian Taylor's. He let me borrow it for the video as well as to get used to using it and learn how to use it so I can teach him too. It's a really cool piece of equipment. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Let's see, it opens right here. We have a nice case. It's got foam insulation. You got a little cord. So you can also use this as a USB interface, which is really cool. So you got four inputs, two on each side. And that's that's it right there. That's the main piece of equipment you get. It also comes with two capsules. You get this one, kind of like your SMs, built in right there. This is the one I've probably used the most. You could also switch these around. It's a little cool feature. Get different angles. Pretty nice. Like I said, these come with it. And you could also have the option to buy other ones, such as if you want two more of these, they have a capsule. You can plug in the top here that has two more of those inputs as well. And we also got this capsule right here. This one's for if you want to go get some more like ambient or room noise or outside noises. It picks up like a lot differently. I've tried it out for few things here and there and it was pretty cool it's just you'll probably end up using this one it does come with a pop filter as well so this will probably be your main one you use a lot with the pop filter on it depending on what you're doing with it but yeah there, there's those put those off to the side there and we got like I said here's this you get the four gain knobs you also have your pad for those. Let's switch that. You got L and R, which will be your top input. I mean, you can have the four inputs on top of that. Okay, let's power you this on. Oh, let's see some of the side features. You got your volume. You got your power, of course. Headphones, and then a slot for an SD card, and it takes the bigger ones. Just regular size SD card. And then you got menu, a uh, little switch right here to navigate the menu. It's also a button as well. And then you just got your USB port, which is pretty simple. Line out and a remote. Which, yeah, I think I looked up something. You can have like a remote for it, which is pretty interesting. Um, let's power it on. Power it on. All right, we're going to set this down and try to get a good angle on this for you. There we go. Ha. Ah, it's visible today. That is awesome. All right. That's what your um, little mixer looks like. I have some compressors on the first three. So I was messing around with some other mics and stuff. But, yeah, let's check this out. You go to your menu, of course. Yeah, there's where you can find all your folders and manage your what you have so far. All right, here we go. This is what you can use. Oh, oops, I exited out. Sorry, guys. So I'm not used to clicking in. Okay. Yep. You can change the frequency or hertz of your uh, low cut, which is really cool. Um, I actually did use that to uh. I make sure I can make the bass drum more present because what we did with this, we went and went to our practice space and did a, a mix um, using just the mics that came with it and just to see what we would be able to do and how well it would sound. It sounds pretty live, but it's not bad just for the stock mics that come with it. And I'll show you that here in a few minutes. And you got compressors, limiters, you got, let's see, yeah, drum. Uh, you got general, vocal, drum, general, limiter, concert, and studio. And then, let's see. You got 
you can uh, the raw or the st st oh yeah. stereo monitoring. I apologize. Phantom power for your other mics. Um, is where you can go and uh, edit your mixer. And let's see, view meter, line out level, MS matrix. And then you got record format, auto record, pre record, backup record, project name, and sound marker. A, B, repeat, play mode, information, voice memo, just in case you know you just want a quick little thing to have your voice memos to have them in a really good quality. Hmm. Oh, coffee today. And then project mixer, playback speed. Got tuner, metronome. And then date, time, backlight, battery, just, you know, basic uh, settings. Stuff for your SD card. Auto interface, audio interface. That's where you go. Do you want to go ahead and connect it as an interface? Yep, and that's it for all the options on there. It's got a lot of stuff you can do. So you have some built-in options, so you don't have to just go hit it up in a post. Just some raw stuff. But yeah, that's about it for that. It's real simple, real easy to use. You honestly, you just hit record. When you're done, you save it. It's about as easy as that. And uh, I will go ahead and get back real quick with the mix and we'll see what this thing can do tripod put it right here this far from the cab and that was about it I did about the same thing for the drums as well